Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. So the public version of iOS 15. Five things that you should know and do before you go ahead and update to iOS 15. Now these are really important of course and everyone I suggest should make sure that they have checked these five things before they update their device to iOS 15. Now before we get into the video, I will be making a ton of new videos on iOS 15 everything from like hidden features to tricks and everything else that you need to know regarding this device so if you want to update to iOS 15 make sure you subscribe to my channel there will be a ton of new videos coming out very very soon all right so first of all of course are supported devices and you will need to know whether your device is supported or not and how iOS 15 will run on your device so as you probably know apple has just gone ahead and supported the same devices as ios 14 with ios 15 as well so if you have an iphone se and iphone 6s or the 6s plus your devices are still supported by ios 15. now what i suggest you do is just wait for a few days before installing ios 15 on your device if you have one of those older devices and that of course is just to get feedback from people and see how ios 15 will run on those devices now we have feedback from a lot of people of course through the beta stages but that's just a small amount of people who actually test those devices with the betas of ios 15 so when it goes out to the masses there will be thousands of course millions of people that will test ios 15 on those devices that way you will get a way better feedback and see how iOS 15 performs on those devices and then of course go ahead and update your device to iOS 15. If you're someone that has installed iOS 15 beta like I did right here, I suggest that you go ahead and remove the profile before you install iOS 15 on your device. Now the way to do that, the correct way to update from the beta to the public version, I suggest before even the GM goes out to the public basically to the devs you make sure you go ahead and remove the profile so if you're right now on beta 8 you go ahead and go to general right here scroll all the way down and right here we'll find vpn and device management and here we'll see your configuration profile for the dev beta now right here you can see i don't have one i have already removed it but you will find yours right here just go ahead and remove the profile and just reboot your device and you're good to go then of course when you want to update all you got to do is just go to software update and you should see here the update for the public final version of ios 15 so i suggest everyone make sure you go ahead and just remove the profile before updating to ios 15. now if you have installed the gm version when it gets released of course when the public one gets out after a day after the gm you won't get an update because the gm and the final version of ios 15 are basically the same software next up is a very basic thing and that's backing up your device always make sure that you back up your device before updating to a new ios software especially on a big release like ios 15 so going from ios 14 to 15 make sure you have your device back up and of course all of your data and all of your files now the everything there should go smooth of course you most likely won't have any problems updating but just in case make sure you do that now you can do that two ways one of them through your computer with itunes of course you can create a backup for your device or if you don't want to do that you can do still that from icloud directly from your iphone you just go ahead and go to your apple id at the top of your settings app and then go right here into icloud go to icloud backup and make sure you have this turned on and that way your files will be backed up to icloud and then of course, once you update, you make sure you have all your files there and everything is okay and you don't lose any of your data. Again, this probably won't happen because like the process to updating on iOS is always really, really smooth and like 99.99% .99 of the times you won't have any problems doing that. But just in case something happens, it's better to be always safe than sorry. So make sure you always back up your devices. Now, when time comes for a new release like iOS 15, I see a lot of people complaining that they cannot update their device. Now, one of the biggest and most common problems is of course storage. You need to have free storage on your iPhone to install a new iOS update, especially a big one like iOS 15. It probably will be somewhere around five gigs. So your iPhone needs quite a lot of space to install that update. 
Now, of course, the way to do it, pretty simple. One of the easiest way, you go to general right here and you go to iPhone storage and actually check out how much free storage you have on your device. If you have like around 10 gigs, maybe it's eight or nine, 10, something like that, yeah, then you're okay, you're good to go. If you actually don't have those, you have way less space than that, you can go ahead and free up like a ton of space from here. So let's just wait for the iPhone to calculate everything right here. And you can see what we can do here, the recently deleted album, we can go ahead and empty that from here. So that's around a gig right there. You can back up your photos to iCloud if you wanna free up a ton of space. But if you don't have space on iCloud, then you can go ahead and remove something from your device, like stuff that you don't actually need. Maybe some videos, just review your videos. They're all like longer videos, especially if you shoot on 4K, they, they will take like a ton of space on your device. So always make sure you go ahead and check that. And then of course there are apps, like there are apps that their size is relatively small, like maybe a few megabytes, but the data that they collect are actually really, really huge. Like you can find something like an app that has maybe 100 megabytes on size, but it has like two or three gigs on cached files and all that stuff. So that of course is really bad. So you should go ahead and delete such such apps. So the way to do that is if an app has like a ton of cached files and it doesn't have an option from the app to clear the cached files like Spotify does, make sure you go ahead and delete that app. Once you have that app deleted, then of course you can go ahead and update and install the app after you have updated. So right here you can see we have a ton here on Twitter. So one, there was 1.3, I believe. And you can see documents. There's like a gig of documents and only 137 right there on the app size. You go ahead, delete this update. And then of course you can go back and install the app and you won't have all these data right there just taking up space on your device. And last but not least, of course, is updating. Now, when it comes to updating your iOS device, there are two types of people. Some, like me, that can't wait to install a new update and once it's 10 a.m. on the Pacific time and we know that Apple releases software, we're always right here at the software update checking for a new software update. But there are, of course, people who don't really care that much. They just want to update their device. But it's maybe like in a few days or so, so they're not in a hurry to do so. So what I suggest you do if you're not in a hurry to install right away iOS 15 in your device is just go ahead and go to the software update page and configure your updates right here. So we'll have two different options. You can download the iOS update, so it downloads in the background without you having to do anything. And then you can just tap install whenever you want to install your device your update on your device but you can also enable right here install ios updates and then if you have both of these enabled you don't need to worry about your device getting updated it will be updated automatically probably sometime through the night if you just plug it in and you have in or you have enough battery on your iphone everything will be done automatically so if you're just taking it easy on ios 15 just do that and you will have it installed automatically without you having to bother for anything Thing. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are five things that I suggest everyone should do before installing iOS 15 on their device. Thank you guys for watching the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. As I said at the beginning, I have a ton of new videos coming out on iOS 15, some really, really good ones. So I suggest you go ahead and subscribe and not miss any of those videos. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.